Um, well, what's the problem with uh, the road construction? Can you see any difficulties there with well, the boons? We, we got a couple issues. Um, we've got mud is the big one. Uh -huh. So we're going to lay a corduroy road or a plank road, mostly to the north. In a few places, we're going to have to grade it out. And if it's rocky, we'll have to use shovels and picks. Ideally, going south, we'll take a plow and plow some of it up and then use a horse-drawn grader to kind of even it out a little bit. Um, you have a three-day tax in the, uh, in the early area here, and you can either pay your $6, I think, or you can come out and help on the road for three days. Uh. So we're looking for some guys to help on the road. Talking about the um, post office because oh I'm the post running, office sure I'm running the post office there in Wilsonville and um, I happen to be um, Charles Wilson's wife I'm Fredrica ah and um, so that's why I'm so concerned about the post office you know uh, Charles could care less about the post office but there's what all, that's what he's famous for well he, he anytime all you want okay. He would read the mail? Well, sure, he didn't have to read, not like he was opening it. Oh. But more like he would sniff it a little bit, and maybe there'd be a little perfume in this one, and he'd roll his eyes, and we'd all chuckle, you know, and then he'd go to the next one, shake his, oh. you know, a couple coins in there, and we'd all say, well, the hardware store is getting paid this week, I guess. Oh, oh we, it took a lot of time to count that mail to it was, it was like, almost like the picture of Santa Claus. Well, thank you for that information, you know, as Frederica, um, I will definitely use that information on my husband, I mean, with, with my husband. Well, it's he not like not he actually be... opened the letters. Well, anything. you know, you don't want the federal government. Uh, I mean, we only had a population, kind of yeah, we only had a population of what, about 50? Yeah. Uh, it was pretty easy to keep up with things, you didn't have to read between the lines. And we won't say anything to the frog pond people. Yeah, Dave, uh, Dave was, uh, they hardly knew where they was anyway. They could hardly talk to you any times. Right, there's only three or four people that could talk to them, so. They had great church services there. They, had, they would sing them good old Bach and Bach and Mozart songs for their church. That, they'd go on for days singing those stuff. Yeah, yeah. Some, some people would say we should have the whole state of Oregon should be talking to them. Well, they are over there in Sherwood. But uh, out here in the French prairie, they're talking the French language more often than that. That's true. That's Don't true. understand a word of them. Just total, total confusion. <laughs> Oregon's like that. I mean, you've got, you got people coming from Scotland, Ireland, you've got them coming from you got them coming from France. You got them coming from China. Then you got them. You got them coming from Japan and Russia. And you, you got to be all those things if you really want to be an Oregonian. That's true. These are elk bugles or elk uh, um, whistler teeth here. The front teeth right here in the elk. Oh. They're the tusks. They're ivory and. That's the only two teeth on an elk, so this took quite a few elk to get this here. Okay, so how far does Boone's Ferry go south? How goes, we... Well, right now we're, we're, we're just going over to Shampooey and Buteville right now, but we're going to punch it through all the way to Salem. Okay. It shouldn't be too bad. There's a few swampy areas we got to get through. Um, but it'll be going to Salem straight down the valley. It's pretty good going south. North, of course, gets a little tricky coming up through some of those hills. I talked to some of your Indian friends down at uh, Grand Ronde about this situation and they appreciated the fact that you always hired Indians, Kalapuya Indians. Yep, they like the work. Paddly. Paddly. To pull that ferry across. Yeah, about yeah. About four of them that we're using for that. Yeah. And they... Can you take me to the place so I can wash this paint off? Sure. I don't know where that is, but we'll maybe a mom can figure it out. Yeah. Um, they did make one sarcastic remark, though. What's that? They said the whole purpose of the Boone's Ferry and the road is to that you are really in the business of moonshining. No, that's not why we keep it open 24 hours a day. That's not the reason. We deny any of that going on. But just so you know, the ferry is open 
anytime you want to come through. And we don't keep any lights on, but we'll be ready for you.